Welcome guys, uh, it's Russian Navy here, and today I'm bringing you episode 4 of FTL. Today we'll be looking at the Zoltan Cruiser, uh, how to unlock it, getting type B and C, all the three achievements, and a couple of quick strategies. I know the past three episodes haven't been quite interesting because they're beginner ships, but now we're getting into the more interesting uh, strategy ships, so uh, we're going to go right ahead and show you how to get or unlock the Zoltan Cruiser type A. So the first step you will need to take is to find a Zoltan homeworld, as I'm going to show here. Um, it will be an unvisited or no ship kind of event. And when you get there, you will see an unarmed Zoltan transport vessel uh, is at the uh, beacon waiting for you. And you're going to hear them out. You're going to do all those steps. It's going to send you into a quest. And uh, after you go into the quest, you'll find a rebel ship. Um, you won't fight the ship, whatever you do, just try and do the most peaceful way of um, dealing with the ship, and then eventually that's all you have to do is just not fight him in any way possible, and then it'll give you the Zoltan ship. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we go, we're entering the Zoltan homeworld. We're going to be looking for the event, we'll be jumping to the next beacon. Hoping to get the event. So, this is the one. This is the one you want to get. It will look exactly like this. The speech and all that. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan peace envoy. So, if you see peace, obviously means that it's going to be the right event. We carry no weapons or shielding. A relay, a rely, and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. This is definitely the one. So you're going to hear them out, and they say, they continue. We take our silence for interested complimentation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, definitely signaling that this is the right one. But either it's beyond your simple mind, or it's all nonsense. So we're going to continue, and we got the quest marker, so we will go to the exit, and then we will go to the quest marker. Uh, that doesn't matter at the moment. And it will say possible ship detected if you have long range scanners, or if you've already scouted the sector. So you will attempt to hail them, because this is their um, kind of trap. So it says, you arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. By the only living thing nearby is a rebel ship. Closing in fast, we found you. You're not getting away this time. So we attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the absolute federation. So we're going to click, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideas without war. And then it says, our, our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could be an end any way but war? True progress can be achieved without bloodshed. And then suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you meet or you met previously materializes on your bridge. Continue. And there we go. Unlocked Zoltan Cruiser. That's how it's done. And we also got a Zoltan Shield, which is great, and 26 crap, which we can use. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meetings to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. This technology would aid your quest. The Zoltan Cruiser has been unlocked and added to the hangar. 26 scrap, Zoltan Shield. There we go. We unlocked it. I'll be right back as we check it out and try and go and get all three achievements and get Type C. Okay, so here we go. We just unlocked Type A. Whoop whoop. Um, so now we're going to be looking at uh, the three different achievements for Type B. 
Um, shields holding, destroy an enemy ship, or destroy a ship before it gets through the Zoltan shield. Uh, we're probably just going to try and get cloaking, and then figure out, probably get weapon pre-igniter. That seems like the easiest way to uh, get that one. Second one, given her all she's got, Captain. Uh, with Zoltan Cruiser, have 29 power and systems uh, at the same time. That one is going to be like a pretty big problem since uh, the next one we're going to be looking at is uh, manpower. Get to Sector 5 without upgrading your reactor in the Zoltan Cruiser. So these two kind of like, they kind of suck with each other because after Sector 5, we're going to have to get to 29 power as fast as possible. Uh, but it's still possible. And uh, so right now we're just going to hop into it. I'm going to show a quick battle. So the strategy for the ship is uh, pretty much just disable your uh, your opponent before he can. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, deplete your Zoltan shield. I'll pledge do I can. Yep. Uh, hopefully we can find a ship around here somewhere. I'm not powering up either of them yet because I want to see what they have. Um, they can't get. They can't teleport into us. But this ship is kind of bad in a sense that uh you it, there's not a lot of venting in like this area more up here so breaching and fires are quite a problem and you see wow 15 percent of aid chance and we they missed both of them but the uh you'll be able to get to around sector um sector two without having to upgrade your weapons uh, i'm just gonna not accept that um as you can see, they haven't even penetrated our Zoltan shield yet, which is great. And I don't think they will be able to. <laughs> so hopefully we can get through their... So we can destroy them. There we go. Okay, so we just destroyed that. Wow, our first battle, we got shields holding. <laughs> oh my. Oh, there you go. Just go. We got the first one in like less than a minute. So I'll be back once I'm about to get the second one or third one whichever one comes first okay guys so i'm gonna do a bit of strategies with the zoltan cruiser uh or any like really beam weapon but uh you always want to hit the uh, shields first so then you can do a more maximum damage to a ship so but if there's like another room in the way that you can still hit i don't think you want to do that because like you get the extra damage on through here so because like if you take down the shields then Obviously, you're gonna get more damage. So we'll see how this works, and hopefully, it works quite well. Uh, there we go. Now took down all their shields, took down their engines, their oxygen. They're not going anywhere. We can just finish them off. And uh, since we took down the shields, we were able to take down the the weapons too. So now they can't pierce through our golden shield, and we just finish them off. Another pretty good tip for this ship is to get your engines to level three. Because that would be uh, to avoid your Zoltan shield to uh, be destroyed. And it just helps in general. Because uh, you want to keep that Zoltan shield alive as long as possible. Also to uh, get a uh, someone else besides Zoltan to pilot the ship. So you can use that power for somewhere else. I was lucky enough to get a Mantis. So uh, in case for anything I can just send him out and fight. Because the ship is not very good at fighting and stuff. As I mentioned earlier. Also the oxygen or like the breaching and fires it's pretty pretty bad in the ship because we only have two venting areas and up here here and up here really bad especially oxygen up here it's gonna take quite a while for your fire to get there it'll probably destroy your oxygen so getting oxygen up to two is a pretty good tip uh, just because you can vent a lot faster and it'll just help in general. It's always a good thing to have your oxygen level too, but don't do it um, unless you have like tons of monies left over. But see here, I'm already in sector one, and I already have like another two mantises that I can buy. So yeah, that's just a couple strategies for the Zoltan Cruiser. And there we go, guys. Entering sector five, we unlock type B. And we got the achievement get to sector 5 without upgrading your reactor in the Zoltan. Um, a tip I used for this one is, as you can tell, I did get the uh, backup battery. 
I had to switch, out, switch around power a lot, and it wasn't that easy, it was kind of hard, but uh, I eventually got used to it, and as you can see, somehow I upgraded my reactor, and I still got the achievement. No, I actually didn't. Um, if you run across one of the uh, kind of little vents, uh, you can find some of them that you can pay people to upgrade your reactors for you, and it won't cancel it. So that's how I got that power, which was amazing. <laughs> If you're doing this achievement, you know any power is the best power. So we will come back. Oops, we will come back once we get 29 power in the systems. See you guys then. And here we go, guys. We're about to get it. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, that's right. I'm just going to power that, power that, power that, and whoa, yeah, we got the achievement. Giving her all she's got, Captain. Uh, it actually took quite a while. I didn't think that it would it would be that long, but dang, I'm in sector eight and it took quite a while to get this. So yeah, um, I'll be right back since we unlocked Type B a bit earlier, and I'm gonna be back showing you guys Type C in the hangar. So guys, here we are looking at Type C. Uh, very challenging ship to use. It's fun, but not one of the best in my opinion. So it does start with four, four resulting uh, crew members, which is pretty good. Uh, three power drone control, because you'll need that for your uh, anti-beam drone, which will, only takes two power. I don't know why it's three, but uh, we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you a bit about it. Um, it does start with a charge one, and as you see, it has no power. It has two power bars, and your ship, it will cost, I'm pretty sure, like 100 or something. I forgot which one it was. Uh, yes. Extra scrap. Yeah. So it takes 30. My mistake, not 100. Uh, but... Your shields, you don't start with anything. The main focus of the ship, I'll show you how to really use it, is to start up this, your beam drone. And as you can see, I added more power bars because you use the thing. And also your charge laser. Um, but... You just want to, instead of charging up the charge laser, just auto-fire it, so then it will just take down their shields. Because once that power runs out, you're going to be immobilized and you can't do any damage until it stops work, or until it recharges. Um, oh my god, that missed. But, it can be very tricky, especially when they have a missile like this. Because once my stuff goes down, I'm going to be taking damage. But... Uh, good tip is just to follow what I said earlier about all the uh, other ships, like uh, get the crew member so you can use that golden power for something else, especially when you use it for the ship, because uh, that really helps. Try and get some power, shields and all that, no, he jumped away, but you can see how it works pretty much. Um, and if you get something like hacking, something that takes like recharge, that's good to use for the backup battery, because uh, when that, when the, like, hacking or cloaking is cooling down, so will your battery, so it won't, like, screw up your weapons and all that. So that's Type C, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on the next ship.